My name is Victor, I'm 23 years old, I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, I play uh, for Nacka HI, it's a club um, just outside Stockholm. Uh, we won the, to the Swedish uh, championship two years in a row now uh, and it feels really great because we got a really young team. I'm actually one of the oldest, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of depressing in a way because I'm quite young still, but you know we got a lot of 14, 15 year old guys that's on their way up and it, 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 feels, it feels really nice. The future lo looks really bright for us, so I guess we have to put on our glasses. <laughs> We're here now uh, to play the Prague Wheel Open with uh, together with the uh, Prague uh, Comap team with you guys, Dominic and Jan and everyone. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, both me and Arkan uh, is taking this uh, opportunity really serious, and we'll try to do our very best in order to achieve some great results over here. I think Prague will open is a great opportunity for players that are not uh, internationally active just yet uh, to take part of this great event and meet players from all over Europe, from uh, Sweden, from Holland, uh, Germany, Switzerland, Poland and so on. Um, this tournament is meant for those people and not only uh, the people who are playing uh, in the national team. Um, myself, I've been playing in the national team now for four or five years, I think. Uh, but uh, this uh, international experience uh, is uh, something that uh, I can never uh, really experienced before. Uh, so, uh, how, how do you think about it? What do you think about it? Yes, it'd be great. First time in the under uh, country, play with other team, other players, new language, it's been fun. I think it's been great to, to learn some news, uh, what they play. May, maybe the here is more definitely or offensive, we don't know yet, but it's been great. Uh, and uh, it seems like every country got their different type of playing, for instance. Uh, the Dutch people, they're playing uh, really technical with, with their sticks. They play with the shorter sticks, so they have better control over the ball. Uh, and the uh, Czech people, for instance, they play more tactical, perhaps, uh, more defensively. Uh, and they are you know, aiming for counter-attacks and they play uh, really with their brains. Uh, we Swedes, we are more like, we use our speed and stamina and uh, go for it uh, 100%. Um, in, in every battle, um, so it's a quite good mixture uh, with many different styles. It's, it's uh, nice to see uh, what will happen when two different styles meet. Um, no, but seriously, I want to see the castle. Uh, of course, we're about here now, right? 
att uh, vad slavske namnjesti maslavske vad slavske namnjesti the other day we went into uh, the city heart of prague um, uh, we saw the um, old town square the charles bridge the big cathedral uh, everything really and what i like about prague is that uh, Prague never got destroyed by the bombings during the World War II, so there's a lot of great buildings and nice architectures that's still there. <laughs> yeah, well, another thing I like about Prague is um, it's really nice, nice girls here, and you know we thought we were a bit spoiled in Sweden. We, you know, we're famous for all the blonde girls and stuff like that. But here it's it's really nice. Uh, our uh, heads were like turning like this all the time uh, during the little walk we had in the city. So it was uh, really really neat. It's the rocker. <laughs> <laughs> About the hotel, it's. Uh, the top uh, hotel, as it's called, uh, is uh, a sh really huge hotel. Uh, it feels like we're, you know, when we're walking in the corridors, it feels like we're going through a huge mall. Uh, they got everything, souvenir shops, uh, uh, bathhouses, saunas, casinos, uh, three or four restaurants, I think. Uh, so it's really, really huge. Our room was also extremely big. Uh, I've never seen such a big uh, hotel room in my life, I think. So it's, it's great when you're in a wheelchair. Uh, you need the extra space, really. Yeah. Especially when you're sharing room with another wheelchair boy. It's, <laughs> it's getting pretty tight. Uh, the organization around uh, the Prague Wheel Open, uh, I felt uh, it was pretty well organized. Um, there were many people there to help. Uh, we had a couple of uh, photographers. The hall was uh, really nice, bo both of the venues. Uh, we had uh, to play on the um, uh, wood floor, you know, parquet floor. Uh, so it was really easy for us to roll. Me, both me and Arkan uh, like to roll really, really fast. Uh, and it's easier uh, on a park floor to, to roll fast rather than a, uh, you know, some rubber floor or something because it gets a lot of friction against the wheels. Uh, so that was really, really good. Uh, and uh, the locker rooms uh, were, were pretty good as well, um, especially at the first uh, venue because it, uh, it was uh, quite new, I think. Uh, only like two or three years old, uh, so they are really thinking about you know uh, the adaptation and, and, and stuff. Uh, so they had lifts and, and uh, big showers and, and everything. So that was important for us because when you go to a tournament, you want everything around to be uh, as easy as possible, so you can focus on your gameplay. It was nice to play with the Prague uh, Comab team. It was nice to meet uh, all the people because we, we all, I uh, at least have played uh, against uh, some of them before, like Hasek and uh, Jan Reichnover and, and those guys uh, in the national team. Uh, so it was nice to play on their side for once. Um, and I think we had a, a good team spirit. Uh, we should have won the semi-finals, but the Dutch team that we met called Doing, they were really good. They had uh, fantastic control of the, uh, their stick and ball, so uh, it was hard, but we, we tried and we were so close. Uh, but as Arkan said, we should be satisfied with, with a uh, bronze medal, and uh, we, we, met, we have been meeting so many people during this tournament. Uh, the other day we were partying with uh, the Swiss guys, so the guys from Switzerland and uh, the people from Poland. And it was really, really nice because we haven't met them before. Uh, and uh, they are insane, I can tell you. And what, what happened on the uh, party stays on the party, so I will not uh, tell anything more about that. But uh, we had a blast 
uh, last night uh, during the party. Uh, and it was also nice to see uh, some photos from the tournament because they were showing it on the big screen during the party. Uh, and it's always uh, funny to see those face expressions you make uh, while uh, you know trying to take the ball from an opponent, something like that. Uh, next year we will be bringing our own team with our teammates that uh, wasn't able to experience uh, this tournament uh, this time around. Uh, and we will come back uh, with at least one team from Sweden, hopefully more. We will try to spread the word about this tournament in Sweden and maybe sp try to spread the word to Finland as well. Uh, and if we can get one team over here, that would be great. If we can get two or three, that would be even better. Yeah, thank you very much uh, everybody that's been involved uh, in this. Thanks uh, Dominic, of course, uh, Lubomir, Barbara, uh, everyone. Um, without you this was, uh, wouldn't be possible. Uh, so uh, thank you for uh, trying to develop uh, this sport even further. It's, it's great.